So guys, so guys, Bob Aram says that Manny Pacquiao should avoid Spence. He should fight uh, Sean Porter or Danny Garcia. He says that um, Errol Spence is a bridge too far for him. Errol Spence is too much for him. Um, Bob Aram again takes a dig at Pacquiao. I don't know why Bob Aram keeps coming out and saying, I don't know whether he's genuinely cares for Pacquiao's health um, or um, he's just trying to put Pacquiao down. He basically said Sean Porter's not an elite level welterweight, so uh, Manny Pacquiao won't get hurt in that fight. He goes, Danny Garcia doesn't punch that hard, which again, I don't agree with. Garcia can crack. Uh, and apparently Crawford and Spence, he said, are a bridge too far. Now, here's the thing. Crawford doesn't punch that hard. Crawford's not a hard, a, a big knockout man. He doesn't punch hard. Oh, we'll see in the Amir Khan fight how hard he punches. But again, I think Bob Aaron needs to worry about Terence Crawford taking on Amir Khan because I think they're overlooking that. Um, I don't think that's going to be an easy fight for him at all. I think this is the first time Terence Crawford is fighting somebody on, on you know, I wouldn't say, I would say on, on, this, on, a, on a very high skill level, which he hasn't faced before. So this is a tough fight, especially if Khan turns up and he's the old Khan. I think Crawford's in big trouble. But in terms of, you know, Spence being a bridge too far for Manny Pacquiao, he, Manny Pacquiao just outclassed Adrian Broner, right? He outclassed him. It was easy. It was easy work at the age of 40. Right, we will say Broner's not a welterweight or whatever, but it was the way he beat him. In my opinion, that performance was, I wouldn't say as impressive as what Spence did to Garcia, because obviously Garcia's a much higher level of fighter, but you'd have to say that he, he completely washed, shut out Broner. So you have to say that Pacquiao still got a lot left in the tank. Um, so, you know, Pacquiao's somebody that you cannot write off. Pacquiao's somebody that's an exceptional fighter. Even now, he's still a problem because... Pacquiao has power. He's not like he's not like Mikey Garcia. He, he my, Pacquiao's gonna throw punches. Yes, Spence might be, be taller and ranger, but I think Pacquiao stylistically is not an easy fight for Spence. Yes, Spence could out, out he could even outbox Pacquiao because he's bigger and he's shown that he's a good boxer. However, Pacquiao's also very skillful. Pacquiao's got an X factor, which is his speed. Which it doesn't matter how skillful you are when you've got someone that's speed that's very speedy, right? It just takes one mistake. And and he could put and Pacquiao's got the kind of power where he could put your put your lights out, you know. Um, I I think it's I I think Bob Aram is just sour, it's just sour grapes, you know. I don't think he would be saying that if he was still promoting Pacquiao. I think Pacquiao left Bob Aram right, and Bob Aram made it out like Pacquiao. He he wanted Pacquiao to leave him because there was nothing they could offer him. When really they offered him, but Pacquiao just took the Al Heyman deal because he felt that was better, you know. I, I just think Bob Arum's just being a typical promoter and trying to, you know, just try... There's some of the things that he said after, you know, Pacquiao's left him, in my opinion, were kind of weird. Like, you know, the only reason Pacquiao moved up that many weight categories uh, because he was very malnourished, um, you know, saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's dangerous for Manny Pacquiao to step in the ring with Spence and Crawford, now saying it's a bridge too far. For me... It's just sour grapes from a promoter that's made a, probably a shed load of money out of a fighter, which probably was his most lucrative fighter in what he probably made Bob Arum in terms of money. Uh, let's not forget Bob Arum was his promoter when Manny Pacquiao fought Floyd Mayweather and he would have got a cut out of that. And that was a big payday for Pacquiao. So I, I just think, I just think again, this is, he's just showing his true face as a promoter. Um, and this is what promoters are like. They'll use you, and then when you but when you leave them, they'll just start, you know, putting you down. And I think that's what Bob Aram doing with Pacquiao, rather than rather than actually saying, I actually think it's gonna, I I think it's gonna be competitive. To say that it's a bridge too far, I just think it's, um, or to say Spence is too much for Pacquiao, I don't agree with that. I think it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think of Bob Aram's comments. Do you think it's sour grapes, or do you think he generally is? is generally cares about Manny Pacquiao's health. Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.